In today's video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to create a landing page for a fitness trader. So let me just show you what we're going to be uh, creating in today's video. So over here, you can see we have the main landing page. This is a four-day intensive virtual bootcamp. So this is in line with what's happening <laughs> at the moment. Okay, so we have a call to action here called book now. On the bottom here, I just highlight all the features that we have for the four day bootcamp. So here we have cardio, hit sessions, meal planner. And then over here, it just covers what happens in day one. And then on the bottom here, it also goes further to talk about what's included in the whole program. And then finally, it has what to expect from us. And then it just has a bit of information there. But of course, this is a landing page. You, are, you can go in and customize this with your own uh, words that you want to add on this website. So I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step how to create this landing page. Now, before I continue, I'd also like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. Perhaps you can use this course to start up your freelance design business or even a design agency because it covers everything that you need to know about design. And also this course covers beginner to advanced level. So you, at the end of the course, you'll have mastered how to use Divi. The link to that is in the video description below. Okay, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to create this landing page. All right, so the very first thing we need to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here and uh, just click on pages, add new. So I'm gonna call mine landing. But of course, in your case, you know, it can be whatever page it is. So I'm gonna call this landing and the next step is to build this using the visual builder. So I'm gonna click here on use builder. Now over here, instead of saying build from scratch, we are going to use a pre-made layout. So I'm gonna come over here and then I'm just gonna choose the layout that I'd like for my design. So I'm just gonna scroll down here because I know there's quite a few layouts that have been recently released which look really, really awesome. So I'm just gonna keep going here and you can see this one here is quite nice. I really like that. But let's continue going. And we also have the wedding planner looks quite good as well. Wow, this one here looks beautiful as well. I really like that one as well. So there's quite a lot of uh, layouts here that really look nice that you can actually use for your landing pages. So I'm gonna go with, um, I'm gonna go with professional cleaning. So I'm gonna use this as my main layout. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it and then click on use this layout. And as you can see here, this is also the landing as well. So I'm gonna click use this layout. And then we're gonna use this now as the base of our design. Okay, so it's gonna take a moment here to install. But of course, we don't want to use the default images that come with this layout. We are going to change everything on this page. All right, so now that it's installed, I'll just give it a moment, there we go. So now that's installed, the next step now is to go in and really customize this and change and make it look like our own design. All right, so to do that, let's start off by coming over here to our module settings. And what we're gonna do is we're going to come all the way down here to the background. So you can see here, we have this design here in the background. So the question is, do we really need that? And to be honest, I don't think we need that. So we're gonna delete that, okay? So I just got rid of that. And then over here, I know we have a gradient. So we are going to decide whether we're gonna keep the gradient or not. Uh, as we proceed with our design. All right, so I'm gonna save this and then I'm gonna go over here to my section settings because I think this is where the image is and sure enough, this is where the image is. Now it uses parallax. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to need parallax for this. In fact, you know what? Let's keep it simple, no parallax. All right, so now I'm gonna change this image here to my own image. And the design we're going to go with here is a design of a fitness website, so a fitness landing page. So I'm gonna come over here to upload files, select files, and then I'm going to choose an image that I downloaded earlier on, click open, and then I'm gonna upload the image. So you can see here now this is my uh, image that shows that this is a fitness uh, landing page. So the next thing we need to do now is to change this title here. So I'm gonna save this, and then I'm gonna come back over here to my uh, settings, and change this. So I'm gonna call this uh, four day intensive bootcamp. Uh, let's call it virtual bootcamp. There we go. So four day intensive uh, virtual bootcamp. So moving on over here, we have these two buttons. So we don't necessarily need two buttons here. So I'm going to disable button two. 
So I'm gonna go ahead, get rid of that. And uh, the text here, I'm gonna leave it as it is because this is gonna work as our lorem text. And then I am going to save this. All right, so that's looking great, but you know what? I need to reveal a bit of this image over here on the left. So to fix that, I need to go back over here and go into the background. So this is where we have our colors. So I'm gonna come over here and just drag this down a little bit. And now you can see it's now revealing the image in the background. So I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit and leave it like that. So uh, the reason being, we want to be able to read this text. So we don't want to uh, cover this text with the background. So that looks okay. I'm gonna save that. And uh, the button here, I'll leave the colors as they are because this works fine anyways with what we're trying to do here. The next step now is to come over here to this section and uh, let's make some changes to this section. So over here, I'm gonna go to the background. And as you can see, the color here does not work with um, what I'm trying to achieve here. So I'm gonna go with a really dark color. So I'm gonna go with black, okay? So I think that works fine. And um, okay, so the start and end position here, I'm just gonna play around with that and just uh, extend it further and save. Now, next, I'm gonna go into these icons and change them. So since this is a fitness website, uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to change this and say cardio, okay? Uh, and then we wanna come over here to our icon. In fact, let's come over here and change our icon. So I'm gonna go, in fact, we need to go to the content. Right, so over here on the image and icon, I'm just gonna go in and choose the icon that works with this. So I'm looking for a heart. You know what I wish uh, I could do here? I wish I could just search and uh, find the icon that I need. Anyway, here it is. There's the heart, I'm gonna save that. And then over here, instead of commercial, I'm gonna go in and change that one to, let's call this skipping or press ups. I'm just thinking of things that could work with uh, the fitness bootcamp, okay? So cardio, uh, hit sessions, there we go. And again, I'm gonna change my icon. So here, I'm just gonna choose something that works with, uh, with what we're trying to do here. Okay, there we go. So hit sessions. And then finally here, I'm gonna go in and change this one as well. So let's go with meal planner. So we're assuming that this is what you're going to get when you sign up for this, this bootcamp. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. And I can see here that we, uh, we also have this shadow. So let's go back over here because I think the shadow is, is over here on the design. And then I'm gonna go onto box shadow. And sure enough, here it is. So all I have to do now is to change my color of my shadow because we don't want the color to be like that. So let's make it lighter. So I'm gonna add a bit more transparency there. There we go. All right, so that's looking much better. So, so far we have our main hero area here. And then we have um, what the session is about. But you know what? I don't need this area here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that, okay? Now over here, we can also choose more images to add for our fitness uh, program here. But before I do that, what I want to do is I want to go in and change these images. So let me just show you where I get my images that I use for my designs. So over here, you can see this is the main image that I used. So I'm just gonna close this and uh, let's look for another fitness one. So I'm just gonna go back to my photos here and hit enter. Right, so the next one I'm gonna go with is, okay, let's go with this one here. So I'm gonna hit download. And the size is gonna be 1280 by 720 because I don't want it to be massive. There we go. Right, so there's also another website that I use for this and this is called uh, Pexels. So these are the resources that I use when it comes to designing my website. So over here, I'm also gonna look for uh, fitness and uh, let's take a look here. So we have some really nice uh, images here. We have another one here. So this is actually a collection of images. So I'm gonna go and choose. So you have to be selective here on the images that you choose. So I'm gonna go with, okay, I'm gonna go with this one here. Hit free download, and you can see there it's been downloaded. Now back on my site here, I'm gonna click on this gear icon, and then I'm gonna upload my images. So I'm gonna hit select files, and they are in my downloads folder, as you can see here. Click open. Now this is going to add them onto my media library. So this is great because I can use them over and over again. So now I'm gonna hit upload an image. 
And you can see my image has been added over here. But of course, I don't want to use that one. So let me just go back and choose this one here. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to save that. And you can see my image has been added. And so far, you can see that our design is really taking shape. And it's looking like a fitness website already. So all you have to do now is to come over here. And you can say day one training. So I'm just coming up with these titles here. But of course, in your case, you want to go in and make sure you add the right copy for this. Okay, so I've deleted that. And uh, here you can also go in and uh, also customize this. So let's go in and uh, see where that image there was added. So here we can say what's included. My typing is really, really bad. <laughs> right. So, okay. So what's included? There we go. So you can go in and, you know, customize this until you are happy with uh, what it says. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on um, my second column there. And this is where my image is. I'm going to go in and change it. Let's click upload an image. Save that. Save it one more time. And there we go. So now I have my images. There's my first image, what's included in the training. We have all of that. Now it's time to get rid of all the stuff that I don't need. So I don't really need that section. Uh, what you can expect from us, I think this is good for the landing page. So I'm going to leave that as it is. And then over here for happy customers. Um, now I don't need that. I'm going to delete that. And then other services. I'm just going to get rid of that. And I don't need the pricing there. So I'm going to get rid of that too and that. Okay, so now we have our main landing page. So to keep the spirit of the type of website that I was uh, promoting here on this website, if you had a look at my previous video where I spoke about creating websites that uh, bring results, here we have a call to action to book now. So this is where now you want this website to really work for the trainer, or if it's in your case, your own website, you really want your website to do all the uplifting of the work that needs to be done. So this ideally should be linked to a page where you can have people to book in for the actual training. And this is what we're going to do in part two. So, so far we've created our main landing page here and we've added all the information that we need. And this is looking great. So, now that we have all this set, I'm just going to hit publish and then I am going to exit the visual builder. Okay. So there we go. That's our landing page. So in part two of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the booking part of our website. All right. So that's all I have for you in uh, this video. In part two, I'm going to show you how to create the booking page of this website. All right. So that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.